All right, guys, what is going on? Me and Paul, he just, he just walked back inside. I don't know why, but we're going to do a comparison of which pet store is the best out of Pet Supermarket, Pet Co., and uh, Pet Smart. So we're going to be walking around those pet stores, seeing what pet store is the best for certain types of things, like, say, the fish or, like, the supplies that they have for fish or just anything like that because we're only doing it for the fish part. So let's head on and get to the pet stores. We're pulling up the PetSmart for the first stop. We're gonna see what they have first. Oh, where's your shoes at? I'm gonna wear them. Good. Good. We're gonna get kicked out. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so they basically just dropped out of the contest because we're gonna basically get business for them if they were the best store out there so I guess uh, do not go to pet smart because they are not friendly in there I mean some of the people are but not everyone is and they kicked us out because we couldn't film all right so we made it to personally my favorite pet store out here and behind me we have pet supermarket where I buy basically all of my fish from because I know these people that are inside of here and they give me good deals sometimes hey Paul let's go let's go Right, we're gonna walk in real quick and then we're gonna film all the stuff they have and then go to Petco. They sold a cat. We get, we're getting cats. Hey Paul, do you think we should get a cat? Come to Pet Supermarket and uh, come get these cats. They were homeless before and they were brought into here. Oh and they're so nice. Hey. Get out of your cage, did I say? No, no. Come Such here. nice cats. Come here, dude. I never told you. you get out of your cage. Alright, let's get to the fish now. You brought the Yorkie too? All right, someone needs to buy these packages. They've been in here forever. There's three now. They're about like three and a half inches to four inches. These things are the sickest packages because they're the albino ones. They're large, I guess, because they're the bigger ones. And then the Oscars are all in here. Right, Paul? I'm gonna start from this side over here. All right, we're starting from the left side. I got these cichlids right here. The bumblebee cichlids, the Jack Dempsey, and then the pink convict cichlid right here. And then we got the blood parrot cichlids right here. My girlfriend actually has one of these. These things are actually really cool. And hers is like a football fat. And some more cichlids right here, the assorted African cichlids. And this is where I got my Oscars from. There's some healthy guys in here. And what I wanted to show you guys is, look how big the vampire barracuda fish has got. And we got some more cichlids right here. And then we got some more cichlids right here, but these are the small ones. They're all aggressive, really aggressive. I'll put my finger in there, see if you guys. Yum, yum, yum. They're really aggressive. We got some of the puffer fish that I got right back here. The silver dollars right here, and then these, um, I think they're called sun catfish right there. I'm not sure. Um, I believe they're sun catfish. They only get to like eight inches or seven inches. The one that Paul had was honestly almost 10 inches. A gold barb right there. They're called tiger barbs. And then look at, there's some like weird colored ones. Look at these, like pink basically. We got the garamis right here. Look at these things. And then some more garamis. And then these ones are my favorite ones right here. These blue ones. Some more smaller fish up here. And then, whoa, what is that guy? I think that's the African leaf fish, honestly. Look at him. It won't focus like close enough, but that thing is really sick right there. Tire track eel. He's sitting there on the back of the leaves right there. And some more tetra things. And then a whole bunch of just different types of tetras. Also, these are some sick fish to have in your tank right there. And then I really like these barbs, the tinfoil barbs. They're not very aggressive, but they will eat a lot. And then look at these little suckers, the black fin sharks. These electric barb glowfish, I'm pretty sure. We got these uh, guppies. And then a big molly in the back right there. Some more mollies up here. And just a whole bunch of molly selection. This is where Paul should have got his mollies from. The people are nicer here. And plus there's more 
huge mollies here than there was in the one that he got his from. These spotted pick this catfish are probably my favorite things because they just go around and they're basically bottom feeders almost. They'll eat the poop or the eggs that are inside of your tank. Like say you have a lot of mollies and they breed, they'll eat the eggs if you guys don't want your mollies to keep breeding inside of your tank. And some bigger goldfish and a koi in there, a butterfly koi. Oh my God. Then we have a large selection of food here also. Jeez, Paul, you should have got your food from here for your fish. Look at all this. Cichlid gold, and then if you guys are trying to feed your fish, the best thing to feed them is omega-1, because look in the ingredients, the first thing in here is crude protein, 42%. So 42% of that is crude protein. 42% of that is crude protein. So that is definitely the best thing you guys should feed your fish for anything basically. It's just omega-1 is what I like to stick to. And then we got some good stuff right here for taking care of your fish or taking care of your tank or pond. Paul knows, we got a lot of stuff in here before. Some more selection on this side, some filters on this side. We got lights. Uh, whoa, that's a big filter for like a tank. And then just a whole bunch of stuff to take care of your tank. Heaters and then some smaller tanks and bigger tanks over here. I mean, we got some really sick beta fish too. Dude, that one's red, white, and blue. Some smaller tanks and stands here. And also, to top it off, we got all of the structure that you guys would need here. Look at all that. And also, we got rocks right there and the whole thing is filled with them. With that being said, that is the first comparison uh, place we're going to today. So now we're gonna head to Petco. All right, so we are almost at Petco. We're just gonna make this huge U-turn with all this traffic out here. All that traffic out there. So we're gonna be there in just a second. We're pulling up the Petco right now. Paul's gotta get a mice for his snake for his video. And we're here. Now let's go check out what they have inside. Here we are. Pretty sure this is the only place that has saltwater fish inside of their tanks because most of the other places don't have it. I haven't been here in years. You got the feeder goldfish right here in the tanks, 35 cents and 19 cents and then 19 cents for these guys also. Oh, we got some turtles here. This is where I might have to buy my turtles for 20 bucks for uh, a decent sized turtle, they're about almost four inches or maybe a little bit over four inches. Since you guys were telling me to get turtles, I might have to get one here soon. That thing is so cool. What is that thing even called? I'm not sure what it is. I really don't know. And then we got some more glowfish and albino tiger barbs and all some sorts of stuff. Some more glowfish right here. Small ones, whoa, those are small electric glowfish. Oh, buy three, get one free. Some more big mollies, garamis, more mollies in there too. And then some of these smaller mollies right here, like really sick color, like black and yellow, and then whatever that thing is right there. Basically got the same stuff as Pet Supermarket, and besides they have saltwater fish, that clownfish, and a sailfin tang. That is really sick. Really, really sick right there. Sailfin tangs. That thing almost looks like a baby eel. Whoa. And then a perculo clownfish. It's kind of spookish. He's hiding back there. Oh, he won't let me film him. I think he's camera shot. He keeps going back and forth. Look. Some more saltwater fish over here. That is a really sick starfish from the backside right here. Chocolate chip sea star right there. And then not much up here. And then a neon dotty back, which is also saltwater. Some Bengai cardinals. And then a royal grandma back there. He is spookish also. And then I'm pretty sure this is some coral right here and then a smaller saltwater fish that's kind of spookish also for some reason. I don't know why all these saltwater fish are spookish. That is a huge molly. Wow, 
That is a giant molly. A little bit more garamis right there. Some more mollies up in the top. And whatever these things are, I think they're Australian rainbows. That is never a good sign right there, dead fish. And some really cool garamis and bala shark. And then a lot of tetras inside of here and a lot of more tetras over there. Some smaller fish, I'm not sure what these are called. Looks like something you'd feed your fish. And then guppies right there. Some more smaller fish and then a type of cichlid. There's some really sick catfish right there in this in this last tank over here, this last section of tanks. I would put some of those inside of my pond if they got big. And then buy three, get one guppies. Some more big tetras and some more smaller tetras over here. And that's basically all they have for fish. I know that was a long video for fish. Paul's getting, what is that? Mouse. He's, he's got a mouse Sorry, for his snake. It. Oh, I didn't even see this over here. We got some, Koi. some kois. And a little bit of goldfish too. That is like a butterfly koi fish right there. And then a long fin goldfish. <laughs> some bigger koi fish right there. Uh, basically like a platinum koi fish in the back back over there. Like right behind that one. That's a really cool koi fish. It's got different colors and like barely any scales. We got some live plants starting off right here. That's the first time we've seen those today. And then we got some more smaller tanks for Come over here. beta fish. And some more bigger tanks and everything. Some smaller filters down there. Paul's gonna show me to what they have back here. We got a lot of live plants back here. If you guys need live plants, I suggest going to Petco. Oh, the turtles came out. Oh my god. Definitely, those are what we're getting for our ponds. Look at them. We're getting this stuff for taking care of your fish. We got the filter cartridges, we got some reef accelerator, marine stabilizer, and calcium booster. A whole bunch of pellets, or two things of pellets. And then we got, this is basically all for saltwater tanks right in this area right here. And then some more saltwater stuff also. So all of this is for saltwater tanks. Besides this, obviously it's a aquatic vacuum. And then we got some more magnets for scraping off the algae that is inside of your tank. And some more light bulbs and then hoods for your tanks. And the all of this right here, this is pH, ammonia, aquarium water test strips and then basically this is all for testing your water or whatever else you're doing and then this is water conditioner and then basically all of this is for taking care of this stuff this is for testing it and then this is for taking care of all that stuff we got some more sick beta fish right here look at look at that one's polka dot paul i know that's the one i was i wanted hey, you can no you can't and then that one's like all different colors right there Wow, these are some sick beta fish. There's only one side of the beta fish. Now there's this right here, this right here, and then more beta fish right here. We got a lot of rocks right here, and then we got the food right here, which is not quite as much as we saw in the other place, Pet Supermarket. We got some more over here. Paul's got some rocks. But we got some more stuff for taking care of freshwater fish right here. Stress coat, that is really good if you're transporting fish right there. A lot of fish food, oh my gosh. Look how big this bag is. How much is that? 30 bucks for a... 30 bucks for this whole entire thing right here. Paul's eventually gonna have to get that. Here we are getting into the filters. This is a huge canister filter for a tank, a 70 gallon tank. I feel like that would, uh, that would destroy a 70 gallon tank, probably make it insanely clean. Just like the Cascade 700 right there. And then a whole bunch of other filters right here. Then we got some more heaters and some more pumps and whatever else you guys would need. This has a lot of stuff inside this place. And if you guys are trying to check out what temperature it is inside of your tank, these are also very good things right here. I recommend getting this one since it uh, actually gives you a better temperature. Inside this room, it is 72 degrees. 
and that is the comparison of stores between Pet Supermarket and Petco. We got to go home and do some schoolwork for online school since me and Paul are doing online school now. So with that being said, I hope you guys like this video and comment which store you guys think is the best and drop a comment down below what you guys want me to put in my big pond because I forgot to say that in my last video. And with that being said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is right here. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Adios.